Muggles. Far side movie reviews. All right, Far Siders. So, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them has hit the movie theaters this weekend. I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to this film. Been a lot of buzz and anticipation about this film. So, I'm excited to talk about my thoughts about this film. Now, this is a J.K. Rollins movie. As you know, J.K. Rollins is the author of the Harry Potter series, and she's actually also the writer for the script of this film. The film is directed by David Yates, who directed most of the Harry Potter movies. It also stars Ezra Miller. It stars Catherine Waterson. Eddie Redmayne, Colin Farrell, and Dan Fogler. All right, so let's give a brief synopsis of this film. The film is actually about a young wizard named Newt Scamander, and it's set in the time period of 1926. And he's actually traveling the world and documenting information about mystical creatures, these creatures that he keeps in a mystical or a magical suitcase. And as he's traveling through New York, some of these creatures escape, and he has to make sure that they are captured, because if he does not, it could mean major trouble for not only the wizarding world, but the world of humans as well. So as far as I'm concerned, you have to start with the story in this film. This thing is really, really good. And J.K. Rollins actually wrote this screenplay, so hats off to you, because this is a fabulous job. And for what I understand, it is her first screenplay. This story pulls you in. It's engaging. It's original. It doesn't lend or borrow heavily from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, so it's not like you would have had to have seen the Harry Potter movies to enjoy this. She actually builds this film from the ground up so you understand what's going on. And it's just such a good story. It's interesting, it pulls you in. The character development is good, the lines are delivered well, and the film is so well acted, and we're gonna talk about the acting in a second, but the reason for that is they were given a really good script to work with. So that's the first thing I notice is how this story sucks you in, how it tracks well, it paces well, and it really pulls you into what's going on and that my friends is good writing that's not just cinematography and acting the bedrock of a good film that can do something like that is a good script and this thing is very entertaining so now let's talk about the acting or the performances in this film we just talked about the script and the actors definitely were given great material to work with I thought that everybody did a really good job in this film and one of the things that's really powerful about this film again along with the script and the acting is this film really does have the ability to pull you in to a world outside of your own and we already know that Rollins can do that she writes in such a way that she creates this whole fantasy world and when you are interacting with her work whether it's written or whether it's on the big screen it has the ability to draw you in so you feel like you are a part of this world outside of your own and not all films can do that but this film does that this movie really does allow for the viewer to become part of that universe or feel immersed in the universe and they feel like they are operating within the world that we're seeing. And a lot of that is done from the acting in this film. I have to say that my favorite person in this film had to be Eddie Redman. He was amazing. He played Newt's commander. The, what made Eddie so good is how he was really able to embody all of the emotions and the different um, uh, emotional positions or angles in this film and sometimes they were really subtle sometimes he just portrayed them with a facial expression but you bought into all that he did you liked him and you were interested to see what happened with him throughout the film so he was excellent as a lead in this film but everybody did such a great job in this film the film was well acted the characters were developed well enough I know that some people had a problem with the character development in this film I didn't because as a whole I thought it was done very well so the acting in this film was superb so that script with the acting in this film again made this a very very good work and I'm not surprised that it's getting the ratings that it gets so now let's talk about the cinematography and you'll see how all of that comes together to make Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them a movie worth seeing. All right, so now we get to talk about my favorite part of movie making, which is the cinematography. I always talk about how important visual storytelling is along with a good script, and this film does a great job about, of that. So here's the thing with a film like Fantastic Beasts or Where to Find Them or Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, all those fantasy films, it's really important that you create a world that's immersive and very inviting for the viewer because we want to be pulled into that world. So you have to make sure that the visuals in that world do that, and this film does a really good job of that. Guys, wait till you see the beasts in this film. They're imaginative, they're fresh, they're interesting, and the way that this whole thing is built, even from the time period that the film is shot in, 
all of that visually does such a good job of pulling you into this work and really, really enjoying it. And as I said earlier, you'll see when you're sitting there, especially if you see it in 3D, watch how everything else in the theater fades and you are completely immersed in the movie. You feel like you are just kind of a bystander in the world looking at what's going on. And that is due to the graphics in this film. So the the effects were 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 original. They weren't they weren't borrowed or they didn't they didn't take heavily from Harry Potter. As I said, she really built this from the ground up and every aspect of the film really did a good job of doing that with paying some homage to Harry Potter because this does still operate within the wizarding world of Harry Potter, but it's very fresh and new and the visuals in this also communicate that as well. So every part of this film was really, really good movie making. There were a few problems I had with the film, so let's talk about that next and then I will tell you what I'm going to score this movie. So I really only had two problems with this movie. One of them was a scene where it was clearly CGI. And I thought to myself, as the camera continued the close up to stop, we can clearly see that this is computer generated. Go to a long shot, go to a wider shot because this close up is not working, which is interesting because they had close ups later in the film and other places in the film and you couldn't really tell that it was CGI. But with this particular scene, it was very obvious and that did bother me a little bit. I also had a little bit of problems with some of the cut work. Some of it seemed a little bit rough and some other folks had mentioned that as well. I'm interested to know if they are seeing the same things that I saw. But other than that, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them will not not disappoint. If you've been looking forward to seeing this film, I think that you will really, really enjoy it. I am giving Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them an A-. minus. Guys, again, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch anything that I produce. I say that at the end of all my videos, but I really do mean it. The fact, again, that you're here looking at what I'm doing really does mean a lot to me because there's a lot of us out here that are doing the same thing. So the fact that you've given me your time is much appreciated. Please make sure if you like this to give it a thumbs up. Please make sure that you comment. I'm dying to know your thoughts on this film if you've seen it. And don't forget to subscribe, become a Farsider, so we can talk about movies together. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. It's Al again. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my review of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Guys, I think this is a movie you will really enjoy, so please make sure that you check it out. Also, guys, make sure that you subscribe. You can hit that circular button right there. Become a far sider. And all the way to the bottom, you can see my social media links. Connect with me there. And you can see recent videos that I've done right there to the right. Thanks again, you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.